Okay, hello everybody. Um, so I just wanted to show you, this was just an unplanned live. I had a parcel come today. It is uh, in the back of one of the magazines I subscribe to. They've been doing an offer where you buy so things for uh, just for paying paying for the postage. So it's classed as the potato offer. Hello, whoever's watching. So what you get in this offer for five ninety five was in the back of a magazine. You get three potato bags. You get some slow release food and you get five seed packets. It was just random seed packets. So you've got I'm trying to get that focused. Oregano cabbage. I'm not sure if I'm going to be growing any more cabbage this year. Hello, busy little house. So, oh, there we go. So we've got some tomatoes, some more tomatoes, and some beetroot. Most of these things I'm going to be able to use. I'm not sure about the cabbage though, whether we're going to be growing any more. Uh, we've got a little instruction booklet. Yeah, I was saying in one of the lives, the uh, one of the lives I was in the other day, that I need to sow some more tomatoes because I think they just got too cold, so that they're, they're failing a bit. So I will sow some more tomatoes. Thanks, clock. And yes, I haven't changed the. Hello, three wheels in a block. Hi from Tennessee. Hello, from the wrong time on that clock because I haven't changed it yet from Scotland it is actually six o'clock here it just changed yesterday we're an hour ahead uh, I also got in this package well I did do a lot of them I saved some tomatoes I'm, I'm really sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background hello f hello Quebec in Canada um, I did sow a load earlier in the year, but I think it must have just been too cold and they went over and I don't think I, I pricked them out in time. Oh, that's okay. I'm right standing next to the dishwasher, so it must be quite quiet for you. Unless the, maybe the microphone's on the back of the phone. So I did try and stand it on this, but it didn't work. Yeah, our has gone back on. Although we are getting temperatures in the polytunnel, 35 degrees, um, just generally, sorry, 35 degrees Celsius, yeah. It is still freezing <laughs> in times. Hello, Christy and Kate, thanks for joining us. For the all those who are, join, uh, who are viewing, don't forget to hit the thumbs up about, let me, on my screen it's about there <laughs> but I dare say it's down here somewhere on your screen so yeah I had saved the tomatoes from previous years that's okay busy little house that that's perfectly fine you go and sort the chickens out it is six o'clock at night here so I would imagine it would be a lot earlier in Canada. So just to say what else was in this package was um, we had three potato. Yeah, the cold does sort of like get rid of all the pests. Gee, was six hours behind. So what's that? Lunchtime. Over there. So we've got the marriage pipe. Yep. What happened there? Were you trying to <laughs> put something up? Hang on a minute. Oh, I don't know why that 
Deleted your message there? Oh, no, 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 stop. Hang on. Oh, I think the, the bot I've got has been a bit overzealous for you there. Hang on a minute, what's going on here? Went a bit. And hide. There we go. Sorry. I've got a new bot and I'm just trying to. I think the little bot was being overzealous on your account there. No, you didn't do anything wrong. I have no idea. Oh, is that what it is? Right, okay. I have no objections to caps there. Hi, Mike. I'm just showing everybody. I, I had a. I had a delivery from Thompson Morgan, which was in the back of a magazine. You just spent £5.95 on it for the postage to be sent out. Um, you got all this, oh, my phone's beeping. I will sort out. I didn't realise I'd put the caps on. So you got the offer as well. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad an offer got some seeds I dare say they're the seeds that are left over because they're 2020 to be sown by but that's still plenty of time for me um, and I got some some slow release food here three grow bags three seed potatoes an instruction pamphlet for different things so I thought that was pretty good. And I thought I'd show everybody here what was in there. And it's getting a bit dark outside, even though we have just put our clocks forward. It is starting to get a bit dark out there. So I saved, somebody asked me about what um, tomatoes I was growing. I saved some beef steak tomatoes which I think were the Mar Marriott ones, however you, Mar Marman Marmonet or something like that, ones that you say, collected from last year's. I saved a plum, saved the seeds from the plum one, and they were Romansk, I think. I grew some leaputs, but I think they all didn't like the weather, so they were all, they're not doing too good in the polytunnel, so I will definitely need to grow some more. And I was, I was watching somebody's. Let me get a bit closer. Come on. I was watching somebody's video, and they said that the sun gold seeds were becoming a bit more rare or something. They were more difficult to get hold of. But I'm seriously not sure about that because I'm pretty sure I've seen sun gold ones. So what what? Tomatoes where everybody just grow up and grow. Nope. Have I lost everybody? <laughs> I'll have a go at growing these ones. Let me just right, there you go. What's everybody what's other people planning to grow? Mike, have you got any tomatoes you're planning to grow or have started already? I was a bit annoyed earlier because I just went to edit some of my videos because I found some um, New Zealand flatworm in the garden and I was going to do a video on them but I actually discovered that the camera didn't actually format the video properly. What varieties are they, the tomatoes? Or are they just store-bought tomatoes? And does anybody else have New Zealand flatworm in their garden? Oh, that's, that sounds interesting. Never heard of cour, cour de Bleu? Is that how you pronounce it? 
Yeah, New Zealand flatworms. They horrible things. So uh, aren't the big boys the beefsteak tomatoes? <laughs> yeah, I was never good at my French. I think that would be French. Or it could be German. Claude de I think it's French. Yeah, big boys are the beefsteak ones. Alright, so has nobody ever heard of a New Zealand flatworm? I'd recommend people go and look that up. They, obviously, as the noun suggests, French or Italian, yeah. As the names suggest, they are actually New Zealand predator. And with the importation of the New Zealand tree ferns, they were brought over into the UK. And when I did a research on them, I discovered that the temperatures that they like to be in, the temperatures that they like to be in, do you want to say hi, Robin? I'm doing a live. Yeah. No, Robin's gone shy. How many likes do you have? I've got two likes. You're going to say hi? No. <laughs> are three people watching it? Three people are watching. Why? Why not more? No. Maybe people are busy. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Carrot. Okay. So that was Robin. He's just come into the room. So the New Zealand flatworms have come over when they were importing the New Zealand tree ferns, and they predate on our worms. And even though you might think it's as an April Fool's, it's not. Go and Google it, and you will find them all about them. And they're pain in the backsides. Stop doing that. All right, are you using a pallet paw for disassembling the pallet? This is a big carrot. Okay. <laughs> so I did do a video earlier, and I might include it on this live. So, I in a previous video, all right. If you want to use more pallets, I would recommend getting a thing called a pallet paw. They're designed just to. It's like a um, crowbar, but with two prongs on it. I totally recommend that. So. In a previous video, I have shown you that I have been doing growing avocados. And here we go. We have a root. We have a root on that one. Robin is living up to his name. Being a squirky bird. So, this is the avocados. My phone is not... Hang on a minute. Robin. Stop. Thank you. So, as you can suggest, this is why they say never work with children. <laughs> so, as you can see, the avocados... My phone is not... There you go. As you can see, the avocado is rooting. I had a seven... Thanks for watching. I hope the live is not too boring. Hi Becky. So I'm just showing everybody my avocado seeds. They're coming along. Or pips. And there's the roots on them. So, and then I've also started another lot, another lot of basil, which I got out the shop for eight pence. Yeah, my phone is not very good. I apologise. So you can, it was one of those living herbs with no roots, 
and they were selling it off for eight pence. So I thought, oh, I can make some basil plants out of that. So I don't know if Becky had you seen the uh, at, um, advert in the back of the Grow Your Own magazine uh, for getting some things for the postage of five ninety nine. So this is what you got: a, a random selection of seeds, three. I'm trying to get it. Three potato grow bags. Here we go. This is not easy doing it one-handed. Hello, Barbara's allotment. Thanks for joining us. Hello, Mags from my garden and the dinosaur who live. So this is one of the potato grow bags, which is not too bad a size for one potato. Sorry, I'm. You never realise how difficult doing things one-handed is until you do a live show. So this is the grow bag that you get for doing the one potato from the promotion that was in the back of the grow your own magazine so I'm just showing everybody all the different seeds you get and I was just doing an update of what <coughs> excuse me yeah it was the 5.99 one you've got the potatoes as well obviously they put Maris Pipers and you get uh, like a slow release fertilizer. So that's just come today in I think it must have been Hermes or one of the other ones which has gone out of my head right now because it was a little guy in a car. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys. And I was just showing, as some people just came in, I was just showing them that on my oh, one at the shop, on my bargain hunting for the for some goodies in the shop, I got some eight p herbs. You know the ones that come without any roots on them or an earth and if you catch them just at the right time you can just put them straight into water and they'll shoot like get roots on them I was just gonna show people as well the avocados I've got and I've also started just today which I didn't do a video oh go ahead and do a live if you just do an announcement beforehand, or if you schedule it even, and then people will get a notification and they'll hopefully sign up to be reminded. And I'm really sorry people, I've just noticed that this is a bit of focus. Oh, sorry to hear that you haven't been well there, Mags. Yeah, it, it does the this bug does the rounds, especially if you're anywhere near kids. It just so for Mother's Day, um, I've had a bunch of flowers again for seventy five p. I'll I'll go and get them. Hang on a minute, I'm just gonna put the phone down. Hang on, where did my stand go? Let me see if my stand is gonna work. Oh, well, you can see a lovely picture of my countertop. Just two seconds. Alright, sorry. You've seen a lovely picture of my countertop there. Out of focus. <laughs> so, so I just, so I got this bunch of flowers for Mother's Day out of the shop. Uh, it was 75 pence with the plan to try and see if I can grow those roses. Right, Barbara, what? Um, how do you do your videos? Do you have the YouTube app on your phone? 
if you have the YouTube app on your phone, then up, when you load it up, up in the corner, you get a little camera icon at some point. And then you click that and then you, it says go live and then you do, and then you sort of like go through the process of going live. But then at the bottom it asks you to schedule and you can just schedule it for however long in the future that you want and then it should notify people that you have planned to go live in half an hour, five minutes, whatever you plan. Just have a play around with the YouTube app. Not the, not the um, editing one, the, the bog standard YouTube app. That's how I do it. Just have a play around with it and see what happens. Yeah, just have a go. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure what. It depends what you want to get out of it. Whether you find it useful or not. Well, the, over the next two weeks, because I'm on the Easter break, so I'll try and get videos done. But I'm going to try and do some more lives just because I don't need to do the editing the soft editing the videos I can just point the f camera at things I'm sure people want to see my face but I'm not prepared to do that right now because <laughs> I don't like going in front of the face, front of the camera but I've got sidetracked but yeah just have a go I'm sure you'll get some people so I was just saying that I got this bouquet of flowers for 75 pence out of the supermarket with the fact that it's Mother's Day so I thought I'd have a nice bunch of flowers and also the fact that there's roses in it and you've got roses a very nice pink one so I'm having a go at seeing if I can get it to shoot get some shoots on it yeah. Please excuse the messy kitchen in the background. So, and I have just realised that we are just gone past the 20 minute point and we still have people. Thanks for sticking with me. <clears throat> I'm not boring you to sleep. Or maybe people are using this as an insomnia cure. So, I will be going soon because this was just an update to say, oh yeah, I just wanted to say that my gingers, the ginger plant roots I had going, I've actually not come to anything yet. Sorry, I'm just moving stuff out of the way. But I have got, I just watered them so they're dripping everywhere. The gingers that I found last year, no, that I found this year that I'd set in the polytunnel, I thought I'd lost them, are actually starting to shoot again. And a second shoot's coming up. And the basil, which is here, which was the ones that I set when I first started doing films, are still doing okay. I had four stems and three of them have survived into doing something. My camera is totally focusing on the wrong things. There we go. So my camera obviously thinks that you need some brown sauce because it's focusing on the brown sauce in the background. Perfectly fine, Becky. So Becky, do you find, Mags asked the question, do you find um, live YouTubes useful? If you would want to answer Mags, who's uh, my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. So I'm just saying these are the basils that I set um, a couple of months ago out of a supermarket packet like this one. 
so this time I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six stems starting to shoot. I, I think I had about five in there. Uh, sorry, I can't count. I think I had about three more in there. I think I had about three more shoot, uh, stems in there that didn't come to anything. But for a packet of herbs that cost me eight pence, I don't think that's too bad. So we have actually come up to the 25 minute mark and I didn't think I'd be on for this long. So I am going to say bye for now everybody. Thanks for joining me and I hope I wasn't too boring. And, and hopefully uh, if I do any more I might be a bit more useful <laughs> and come up with some more things. Uh, Thanks for watching. Right. Don't forget the likes, the thumbs up, people. And bye.